Hey guys and ladies, welcome to Zip Gaming Online, and today we're gonna take a look at the um, Saints Row 4. And this is the very first in depth look because this game has a lot of depth into it. Obviously, it's a bigger budget game, so we're gonna take a look at the uh, game a little bit more than how we kind of deal with most games. This game we cannot just um, take five minutes and say oh, okay well I get what the uh, game is about so with that being said let me start well with that this game like everybody else knows at this point it is based in a simulation alright so you're actually not inside a real life situation really you're just inside a simulation and um, it's kind of dark in the beginning. It's actually really different. It's uh, it's an interesting concept to start with. All right. Now, with that being said, this game is robust. It's it got every little lights and pretty sparkles, the explosions, the uh, round flying everywhere. However, with that though, the AI is dumb at times. They get teleported, if you will, to their designated area. At its very basic level, the game works. Nothing more, nothing less. I know a lot of people will say, oh, but it's Saints Row 4, man. How could you say bad things about it? But no, I'm not really saying a bad thing about it. Not yet. The thing is, for now, I'm going to say the game works. That's the uh, quintessential thing about it. It got everything you want, everything you need. Um... There are some things that could have been improved, but that is the case with it. just about everything. So, let's start with what's the difference between the uh, Australian version and the uh, regular version. All right, the Australian low violence version doesn't seem that much of a difference. However, the um, blood splatter is a little bit less obvious, I think. It looks a little bit more like a spray of red mist. And this is under ultra settings, by the way. There is just n almost n almost nothing there. Y you get to, like, let's say, shoot a person, and the blood is barely even noticeable that it actually sprayed blood at all. And now then, we'll move on to the two big things that. Um, they took out in the uh, Australian version. One is the uh, narcotic mission and the second one is the uh, alien anal probe gun. Alright? So the uh, narcotic itself is called uh, is on a mission called Thunder Pump. Alright? And you're supposed to actually go to this place, kill a bunch of dudes and you find this cache of just you know, um, alien narcotics, and you're supposed to smoke it. And you actually get to see the characters smoking the drug in a bong, and you get to see Shondi, both the uh, serious one and the fun Shondi, to be under the effects of the drug as well. And um, I suppose that, you know, maybe that's just a little too much for the... Um, Australian board but it is what it is and um, I'm not saying that they're completely out of their mind because you know what if I, I don't condone the idea however I completely understand where they going with like where they coming from there is a hesitation there and it's kind of sad that we didn't get it but at the same time it is what it is. We didn't get it. It's okay though. It's just a single mission. It's not that big of a deal. And the uh, anal probe weapon. It's just a literal gigantic anal probe, the size of like an you know M1 bazooka, and you just pretty much shove it down you know where and shoot the person inflicted um, with you know the probe, 
and shoot them to the general direction you're aiming it with. So the question is, is losing a single mission, all right, and losing a weapon that is clearly, clearly isn't combat worthy, does it constitute, you know, a big deal out of it? Like, do you really care for losing two things that the first one, you're just gonna do it once, you cannot do the mission more than once, right? And then you get to actually lose a gun that you don't, you don't really use. I don't, I don't, I don't see why you would pick that gun. I mean, there is a lot of um, other guns that could easily replace that. So, I hope not. Because Saints Row 4 is worth to be a game on itself without these two things, alright? Um, though the, uh, idea that it get, um, you know, the, uh, release date get postponed was kind of bad. I, I don't really like that idea, however, it is what it is. If, if the, um, Deep Silver Volition actually said something about it and kind of a little bit more you know, on the level with us, if they actually told us what actually changed, that would be great. Because even so far, we have no idea. We have no idea whatsoever what are all the things that they actually changed. These are only the things that we speculate, we keep looking, and this is as accurate as we get to. We lost the, um, you know, the uh, Thunder Pump mission and the uh, anal probe weapon. So, besides that, do you really care? I mean, like, it, it's still good, you know? And, um,. I'm just gonna get right down to it. This game is different. This game is gonna be just way out Vert there, all right? Vert in terms of like what's going on, it's just Let's do well. This, you gorgeous thing. If you like it, it'll be awesome. And I mean, like I try to take um, as much uh, game as possible to be on a unbiased level. Though I do like the uh, Saints Row 2. A lot of people will kind of bash it on it, it's like, oh, it's not like Saints Row 2 anymore. Well, it's not, guys. It, I mean, like, it, it kind of sucks, I guess, if you kind of wanted that Saints Row 2 kind of, like, um, you know, smart, funny, at the same time, kind of weird, but still kind of serious. You don't really, like, you won't really get it as much. You kind of have it a little bit here and there. And, you know, people say, oh, like, the writing is better now in the Saints Row 4. No, no, it's not, it's not really. I mean, how cliche is it to have, you know, an evil mastermind enemy or whatever that just pretty much destroys everything and just, you know, fighting the uh, protagonist and say, well, screw you, I'm, I'm way stronger than you. And then the uh, protagonist slowly gaining strength and... It gets to the point that the uh, protagonist can challenge him and win the uh, day. So it's not it's not that crazy of a writing, honestly. And honestly, I'm I'm actually not too crazy about the idea of simulation because it will kind of limit the uh, DLC. But then again, considering Saints Row Four, I mean, like it's Saints Row, right? It's like they will they will do whatever they want anyway. So it is how it is. The uh, new power. It's really powerful and it's really easy to get used to it. However, getting a hang of how to actually properly use your power a takes a bit, a, a bit of um time. It, it it's not that long, you resist, you? but you will be you adequately able to pretty much pull off crazy stuff and kind of you know mix and match your powers to kind of do a little bit of a combo, if you will. However, maybe it's just me, but I kind of miss the uh, whole grenade stuff. We don't have grenades because of the uh, superpowers. And, um, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, um, level here, alright? There's a lot of good, 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 like, 
pop culture references. It's everywhere in the game. Um, however, there are some bad things. So I'll try to put it into a perspective to make it easy. So what is good about the game itself, right? Well, it is fun. It, it is a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. The game is a lot of fun when you're playing it. Um, the new powers is amazing. I mean, like it, it's it puts a, a different twist into the game, right? And you get all of this new crazy weapons. You know, there are weapons that disintegrate humans and aliens alike. Even shoot, um, like let's say, um, somebody's hiding behind a mailbox right and you can't shoot them straight away well you can just shoot the mailbox and the mailbox disintegrate you get to sh you get to shoot the person however <laughs> it is a bad idea that um you know because of all of the uh, new things it does get a little bit weird really quick so let's see what's good about it is that it's fun to play there's plenty of weapons and looks Good humor, a lot of um, pop culture references. The songs are pretty cool. Like, you know, some of the songs are really like, come on, you don't get to hear them all the time. Most of them, it's like, it's it's just nice. I'll just put it that way. Because if I keep talking about everything, I'll I won't finish this video at all. So. There is a lot of um, good control for the powers itself. It takes a while to get used to, but you get used to it quick and you get to be able to just pretty much demolish anything with it. However, there is a little bit of a gray area and that is the power replaces grenades. I'm not sure about that. I kind of miss the grenades because... Um, okay, the problem with powers, right? It's kind of hard to control a tight spot you can't really kind of like let's say even if you want to grab a car right if you want to take a car and just let's say modify it customize it or whatever you can't because you have to actually jog towards the car instead of running running you will just destroy the car before you even get close to it so it's kind of useless and to make it even worse the cars you know vehicles generally are useless you know I finished the game without even actually using a vehicle unless I have to like if the mission says oh yeah it's it's cool you don't have to use the uh, cars you don't have to use vehicle I'm not gonna use it there's just no point there's no point at all to have a vehicle in Saints Row 4 that's kind of the problem it gets to that um, you know, kind of like an infamous kind of frame of mind, and you're just like, oh, I'm such a badass, I don't need nothing, I don't need anything, fuck everything, you know? It's kind of cool that in Saints Row 4, you still get to use your weapon, I mean, like, there's still use for the weapon, however, it's just still useless. Vehicles are still useless, it's not like Saints Row 2. And, um, so, what are the bad things? The bad things are the customization. It's very limited. Although I do give a good um, thumbs up, really, for the uh, weapons because you do get to customize your weapon. You do get to kind of change the um, looks. Although it's kind of like a preset, but uh, you know, it's nice. I mean, like, I, hey, I get to use a, you know a hand solo's uh, blaster for pistol and what you call it, Robocop pistol for the uh, submachine gun well, I'm, I'm happy with that <laughs> but it, it is very limited in terms of like actual customization like actual character customization is very limited there's only two types of clothing store in the whole fucking city how bad is that only two types one is the planet uh, the planet Zen which replaced the planet Saints and then there's only one else the only one other uh, clothing store which is the uh, let's pretend and let's pretend there's nothing I mean come on you can't even have most of the stuff that you have in Saints Row 3 you can't even have that it's like why and the quest gets Repetitive, really quick. It became a chore. It's like 
I mean, like, okay, they even make joke of it about, like, oh, Zinyak's been using the same thing over and over and over again. It's like, I get it, guys, but come on, you know? And, listen, this might sound like me bashing it, but if you look at it, the pros outnumbers the, like, the cons immediately, straight off the bat. What's bad about it? You get the uh, limited customization. Not a lot of type of clothing and all of that. You get the uh, quest becoming a chore, and well, the closest bad things from the gray area would be vehicles are useless. Everything else is kind of like, eh, I don't care. So, there's a lot of good things here, and let's not waste it, alright? This game is good. If you like it, if you like being a badass, you want to be a different thing. Go get it, but if you don't really like it, it's a bad idea. Don't get it. <laughs> you know, just kind of skip ahead, skip ahead. It's, it's it's fine. You're not losing a lot of people. Like if if you like Saints Row 2 a lot, you might not like this. All right. But with that being said, this game is a must buy. Go get it. You won't regret it. And um, yeah. Go ahead and check out the uh, written review, and uh, if you like this kind of thing, hit the like button. If you um, feeling nice, subscribe, and uh, let us know what you feel like in the uh, comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video.